know the answer to the next question. What car would you like to drive coast to coast? Now, that could be a legendary drive along Route 66, or it could be a cannonball run style. Do we know the answer? Oh yeah, and that, you know, if you had any brains in your head, you'd want to pick an automatic. <laughs> but I wouldn't. I would jump right back in that great 69 truck. <laughs> One of the reasons is that you know, where, where I went with it, somebody would stop and ask me, what is it? Who the hell would paint a car of that color? <laughs> and where did they get the idea for that ridiculous spoiler? And all of those things which are today kind of so what? They were big things in those days. And I'm lucky enough to have been there to remember that. Jim, our fourth question. If you could, which automotive person from history would you like to meet, whether over lunch or to go for a ride with? I personally have a, a kind of a personal uh, oh, a what if uh, idea about a guy named Walter Chrysler. Uh, Chrysler came up, as a matter of fact, through General Motors. He was the general manager of the Buick division when it rose to become a fairly significant car. But to leave the security of General Motors, jump in and start his own company, which was a result of, of a purchase of some already failed American car, one called Chalmers, Chalmers, and form the Chrysler Corporation, and then be smart enough and big enough to buy this gigantic success called the Dodge Brothers, took a guy with some real perseverance and real conviction. I would personally love to spend some time with Walter Chrysler. That'd be quite a conversation. Um, which automotive venue or event around the world would you like to attend or participate in? I must confess that I'm still excited about watching a good old American stock car race. And of course, the best old American stock car race is still the Daytona 500. So that's where you would find me if I had my choice every year. And our last question. Um, which is your most cherished automotive artifact? And that could be anything from a hood ornament, to a photograph, to an event program, to a sketch on the back of a napkin. Well, I guess I have to say that I was probably more thrilled and more, more satisfied with myself and with the image that I had projected when John Lorian asked me to write a presentation that they at Pontiac were going to put in front of the General Motors Corporation justifying the building of this car called GTO. I thought that was a very significant honor that he would have that kind of respect for me. I busted my proverbial to get it done only to find out that when we got down there, they didn't even want to see it. Because 15,000 orders said a whole lot more than anything I could. Um, should we open the floor up to some questions? Yes, please. Okay. If, if there is anybody. Um, I think the lady in the